another McLogo video and in this video we are testing the large winglets on the Breeze X model, 3D printed wing and um, this auto launch is more than well, really easy with this model, you just throw it and it goes up. Uh, by the way it changed to 30 degrees uh, angle so it's a little bit easier to launch it. Um, the camera that I'm using is a HDV2 with gyro, uh, with gyro, that means gyro flow is enabled and here we can see how it would look unstabilized, uh, just to show um, how much the stabilization is doing actually. And it's only slightly stabilized, you could do it even more, but it will crop the image, so that's why. So it's slight stabilization, um, just to make it more better viewable. Uh, there are still a little bit light um, vibrations in the the footage, uh, I think that's due to some light conditions, also the uh, vibrations that come from the motor. So yeah, something that I will, will also figure out a little bit more. Um, so the wing fly, flies really nice so far. Um, it feels better, I think it's a little bit more stable, let's say, um, but it's also nice with the standard, but it's just, just, it makes it a little bit more flyable. And I'm basically flying and trying you know, to do a little bit of acro and a little bit of you know, flying through gaps, looking how, how well it does in slow turns. And as you can see here, very nice, easy, and you can also fly slow and um, basically with 20% throttle easily. Um, by the way, you shouldn't, if you're not flying, for some time or if you're not already used to flying, uh, do stuff that low, uh, especially for beginners, fly high. Uh, the rule of thumb is fly two errors or three errors high, that means an error uh, that's maybe 20, 30 meters above, so 60 meters, 50 meters above, then you can try stuff and, and do things. And not like I'm doing here, that's a bad example, but I've been flying RC planes for quite some time, so um, yeah, <laughs> I would crash if I would do an error at this at this height, just to, or at this level. Um, so let's check if a loop works. Uh, it does it nicely. Also coming out of the loop with a roll. Uh, shouldn't do that so close to the ground, it doesn't look dangerous, but if you crash into the ground, it's one crash and then it's finished. So, um, what I could notice here was it's, it's the craft is slightly pulling a little bit to the left as I felt, and I just, first of all, didn't notice that much because I did, uh, Acro Mode does work against it and does uh, correct it. And so I just flew a little bit more and now I just felt, yeah, it's pulling slightly. That's why I'm doing these maneuvers just to see uh, what it does. And as soon as we notice, hey, there's something right, land. There's no, there's no way to, that it gets better. It's possibly a linkage, I guess, at this time. And I was right, so I'm just going back for, a, for an easy landing in the grass. And yeah, <laughs> landed without crashing, that's the main thing. It was really a linkage that was getting loose and that I will uh, tighten. And uh, basically a successful flight with a small incident, but we saved it and are ready to fly some more the next time. So successful, um, wing legs are cool. Have a nice day, thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.